I am pleasure to present the report. The scholar metric of classification algorithm choose in machine learning problems based on the scam of nonlinear compromises by Igor Puleko, Oleksandra Svintitska, Viktor Chumakevich, Vadim Ptashnik, and Yulia Polishchuk. Algorithm that shown the classification problem have been known for a long time and in mathematical statistics, they are also called problems of discriminant analysis. In machine learning, the problem of classification is solved in particular by means of a large number of algorithms, including those with the application of method of artificial neural networks. For example, as shown in Figure 1, Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio has a lot of classification algorithms, each of which can perform a set task. The variety of supplies raises the problem of choice. The existing metrics for evaluating the classification quality don't provide an unambiguous. According to classical theory, several indicators are used to evaluate the quality of such classification algorithm. Consider them in more detail. For the classification problem, given the actual label and the predicted label. The first thing we can do is divide our samples into four segments. True positive, false positive, false negative and true negative. A number of other characteristics are built on the basic of this matrix. Consider each of them in more detail. Accuracy is the fraction of the correct answer of the algorithm. It is a quick and informative indicator of model performance we cannot rely on it alone. This metric is useless in problems with unequal classes. Precision is the proportion of the correct answer of the model within the class. Recall is the share of true positive rate. Precision and recall don't depend on the relationship of classes and, therefore, can be used in unbalanced samples. It is obvious that the higher the precision and recall, the better. However, in real life, maximum precision and recall are unattainable simultaneously and, therefore, we have to search for some balance. The F-score reserve precisely this needs. The F-score is the harmonic mean between precision and recall. The F-score is a good candidate for a formal classifier quality evaluation metric. The receiver operating characteristic cover is used to analyze the behavior of classifiers at different thresholds. It demonstrates the problems of false positive rate compared to the proportion of true positive rate. See figure 2. The scholar indicator that uh, follows from these indicators are allow us to compare classifiers with the value of the area under the cover. A perfect classifier will have an area under the ROC cover equal to 1, while a random classifier will have an area of 0.5. The precision recall cover demonstrates the sensitivity of the ratio of classes. If the positive class is significantly smaller, the ROC cover may provide an adequate estimate of the algorithm quality. The criterion for the quality of the family of algorithm is the area under the PR cover. Quite often, when using a different classification algorithm, similar quality indicators are obtained and it is difficult for a user to choose one of them. This is especially true for the criterion of highest efficiency, which is calculated for each system separately and depends on business objectives. In practice, several approaches are used each of which has advantages and disadvantages. We propose to apply the method for solving multi-criterion problems based on an linear scheme of compromises, presented in work by Albert Voronin in Form 8. The introduction of coefficient SI, equation 9, 
allow us to give performance to one or other criterion being better adapted to the specific business task. Since the best quality of the classification algorithm is needed, the efficiency criterion must be maximized and then the classification formula tasks the form 10. The highest scalar value of the indicator NCT will determine the better algorithm for implementation a practical classification task. The advantages of the method of nonlinear compromise scheme are, first of all, that this method is quite simple in terms of computational costs and allow us to obtain solution from the Pareto. Second, the scalar convolution term under uh, convexity of partial criteria has the property of unimodality. Moreover, the nonlinear scheme of compromises has the property of cons uh, continuous adaptation to different situations in which it is necessary to accept a multi criteria solution. To verify the efficiency and evaluate the efficiency, experiments have been concluded on the application of the appro proposed metric together with the calculation of known indicators. The experiments were conducted using the Python programming language and a number of its libraries, such as Scikit-Learn, Pandas, and others. The Scikit-Learn libraries have many classification algorithms that can be used to build a machine learning model. All Scikit-Learn machine learning models are implemented in their own classes, which are called estimators. The following uh, learning models have been created. Logistic regression, linear discriminant analysis, k-nearest neighbors method, classification and regression with using trees, naive bias classifier, support vector machines. As data for research, the iris was used. It is included in the databases module of the scikit-learn libraries. Scikit-learn Python contains many built-in features for analyzing the performance of models. In this task, we use some of these metrics and have written our own quality assessment function from uh, scratch to compare them with known ones. Additionally, we propose our own indicators or the quality of classification algorithm nonlinear scheme of compromises. The libraries presented in Figure 4 were used for software development. The obtained research results are presented in Tables 2, 4. Since the experiments were performed for a well-known dataset which was well-balanced and tested. The additional experiments were performed for a two-class classification of a real dataset with 15,758 copies. The results obtained are summarized in Table 5. Analysis of the results of experiment shows that in this case we have a balanced date set for which all algorithms shown high quality values close to the standard. The comparison table for the class Irish Setosa table 2 shows that if all other indicators are equal, it is possible to determine based on a single indicator's accuracy and it makes no sense to calculate the NST. With respect to a single indicator of accuracy, the highest accuracy was found for the SVM algorithm. Analysis of Table 3 shows that in the classification of iris versicolor the best NST indicator is shown by the SVM algorithm. Analysis of Table 4 shows that in the classification of iris virginica the best NST indicators is also shown by the SVM algorithm. 
for the second data set approximately the same quality assessment result are observed for the algorithm of CART and SVM. Due to the uh, calculation of the NST, it is possible to uh, reasonably determine the best algorithm, namely for this case of the CART classification. Thus, in the paper we propose for evaluating the classification quality of use the developed scalar quality indicator, which is a scalar nonlinear convolution or the known quality indicators such as accuracy, recall, precision, a one and other. These indicators allow us to give performance to one or other classification algorithm when the value of topical indicators are almost the same or have contradictions. Studies have confirmed the useful of the proposed indicator NST. In the future, it is uh, advisable to study the scalar indicators of quality in more detail, determine its limits and develop recommendations for, use, for the use of the NST. Thank you for your attention.